When you're fumbling around in the depths of your closet, or running your fingers through garments in a luxurious boutique, trying to distinguish between real silk and satin can feel like you're blindfolded at a masquerade ball. Both have that sultry, smooth feel that whispers against your skin, but pure silk, that's the invite-only VIP of fabrics. Here's the trick to telling them apart. You've got to engage the senses and a bit of material know-how. Texture, the slide and glide, Rub the fabric between your fingers. Silk, a natural protein fiber, tends to have a more delicate, almost velvety feel with just a hint of gripping texture. It's like your fingers are doing a dance with just the right amount of resistance. Satin, which can be made of silk but often isn't, will typically slide faster than gossip out of your grip, thanks to its glossy surface. Appearance, the sheen and shimmer hold the fabric up to the light. Real silk glistens with varying shades depending on the angle, the mark of depth and complexity in its fibers. Satin made from synthetic fibers, however, will shine bright and consistent no matter how you turn it, like it's trying too hard to impress. The burn test smells like truth. If you've got a bit of thread and a fire-safe setup, the burn test is old school but effective. Real silk will smell like burnt hair, it's primarily the same substance, and its ashes will crumble to dust. Synthetic satin, it smells acrid like a plastic tribute band playing your favorite hits, and its ashes turn to a hard bead. The price tag. Keeping it real costs. Real silk, my friend, is the high roller in the fabric casino, and it tends to price itself accordingly. Satin sticker will usually be less wallet wilting, though if it claims to be silk based, you'll still be reaching a bit deeper into those pockets. The water test. Ripple or run. Drop a bit of water on it. Pure silk often changes color and becomes a bit rougher where it's wet, creating an ephemeral lake on your fabric map. Meanwhile, Synthetic satin is like that guy at the party with too much hair gel. The water beads and rolls off. And living here in Portland, sometimes I feel like the rainy season offers an involuntary water test on pretty much everything I own. Silk, however, doesn't take the rain as well as my trusty, less fancy fabrics. Real silk is a journey in refinement, and distinguishing it from satin is all about engaging your Sherlock Holmesian sense of detail. Take your time to feel, watch, and test. The real deal has centuries of luxury woven into its very threads. Why rush the getting to know you part? 